Well, one of the things that is so amazing about this movie, I mean, the level of authenticity that you achieve and the, um, it's kind of impossible to discern. I know you like to mix up real actors with non-professionals and sort of I, I dare people to, to tell which is which in this movie, which I think is very high praise. Um, I'd be interested to, to hear what it's like both for you as a director, if there's a certain way you like to work, work with actors and non-professionals at the same time, and what it's like for you as, as cast members, uh, how different that is or, or not different from just working with other, with other professional actors and how you have to adapt to that. Um, the, the mixing of, people, of actors with different experiences is a rich thing to get involved with. It's, it's always different, and there are a lot of um, almost like caveats with it. You know, one, one of the major ones is that when uh, in a film someone's asked to perform who's had no um, formal training, the, the almost the surest way to get something that can work and the, the person can actually thrive in, the set, in this new setting of being in a film set is to have someone that does this in their real life, that they're, what they are performing is something they know extremely well. So in this, in this film, the recruiter, uh, Sergeant Russell Shock, is a recruiter. So he was performing something that he is so steeped in, that he has a profound sense of how to ask these questions, how to deal with people in the age range of Reed Dolly. Um, he knows the rules and, and the true uh, wording of how the army phrases and um, its requirements. It's, you know, um, same thing I was thinking uh, when you get someone like a public defender to really play themselves. Whatever state you're in, whatever county, that public defender will never have to memorize what's a class B felony or a client. They'll know. And, and with that, they can really rattle that off in a way that they would late night when they are called in for the late night court. They're just myriad teachers, uh, therapists, counselors, people that work, have had prison experience. It just, when people have something really that they publicly perform, and most likely, when the cameras roll, they will still. I mean, he had a look in the eyes of of, of Jennifer, and you know, he was frightened. Uh, you know, it was it was unnerving for him, but he had an anchor in the scene, which was the trained actor, the very trained actor, the very the the person that was going to always be there for him every take, and that would swing with him if he if he changed up the lines, which he did. I think every take, mm. the order of how of the, how the interview proceeded. Jen was there with her flexibility and, her, and because she was so present. It wasn't like she was expecting him to say, you know, X, Y, or Z. She heard him every single time. And she would always answer him. And she would really answer from, from the reality of Reed Dolly's life. Yes, she knew she had a brother and sister. She knew their ages. She knew their dad, that it was impossible for her dad and mom to sign. So uh, it, to me, the, the sweet spot is the trained actor with the open heart, with the interest, who can swing with that, and the person who has the lived experience trying to bring that to the scene, and the two of them are gonna have some kind of intense chemistry often. It can, also, it can, it can backfire. Someone who can perform those in everyday life when the, when the formality of the set is assembled, the quiet occurs, rolling is called, even if you whisper rolling, or if you say when you're ready, <laughs> or if you say, you know, it's gonna be a tail slate, no matter what, that silence is felt and it's palpable, and, some people can cannot flourish in that setting. So it, it's 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 not a recipe that I feel ever assured about or or cocky about. It's nothing I, you know, uh, can guarantee. But it's something I definitely, because of all the neorealist films that I adore in the world, will always have an attraction to. Uh -huh.